Safe Mountain Flight is based on early detection of hazardous situations, but one day, because of poor visibility or descending air, you might find yourself unable to continue in the valley or pass that you're flying in. You'll have to make a 180 and return from the way you came. There's a couple of principles that guide the 180 turn. The first is the radius of a turn increases by the square of the airspeed. That means your turn radius will be four times greater at 160 knots than at 80 knots. And the true airspeed will be somewhat higher than the indicated airspeed when flying at altitude. So it might come as a surprise to realize just how much more room is required to turn around at 8,000 feet than at 1,000 feet. The safest way to turn around in a valley is to use a 30 degree bank turn at a constant airspeed. And the best way to reduce the turn radius is to lower your airspeed. Slow the aircraft down to the best rate of climb speed. This will provide you with a good performance speed for climbs or terrain avoidance procedures, but keeps you safely above the stall and will allow for a small radius of turn if needed. Consult your POH for the proper flap settings for your particular aircraft. You may wish to practice this to learn exactly how your aircraft will perform. Start by flying alongside a ridge in a wide valley and executing a 30 degree bank turn at your best rate of climb speed. After you've completed a 180 degree turn, look over to the ridge and see how far away you are from it. This is the distance you require for the turn. Keep in mind that if you've initiated the turn on the windward side of the valley, as you're reaching the opposite side, the leeward side, you may experience downdrafts and sink. So leave yourself a little extra room to avoid flying into that area of sink. With practice, you'll soon learn how much space your particular aircraft requires to complete a 180 degree turn. Then never go into a valley that offers less than double that distance. It's still best to avoid any situation where you'll need to execute a 180 degree turn in a hurry. But if you have to turn around, a perfect, controlled and practiced 180 should be the most natural thing in the world to do. If you flight plan carefully, avoid flying too close to the terrain and always maintain room for turning around, mountain flying can be safe and enjoyable. But we can't stress enough the importance of getting some training with an experienced mountain flying instructor if you're planning to add mountain flying to your repertoire.